Welcome. This is the second of three videos on fluid and responsive web page design. Building web pages using these techniques helps ensure your web pages can be seen on any device from smartphone to super high resolution displays and should future proof them for years to come. In video one, we looked at how to create a fluid web page using percentages in our HTML and style sheet instead of fixed pixel values. But as we saw at the end, if we keep on narrowing a browser window or view a page on a smaller device, our images get too small to see and our page too cramped. So the next step is to add breakpoints in our style sheet so that we can change the layout of the page to match different browser window widths. Here's the demo page we used in the first video, using Cicero's famous text on good and evil, and some images of the man himself. Here is the HTML coding for the page, which as you can see is pretty simple. It's basically a main parent div called page wrapper, and two child divs called text side and graphic side, which each contain some Latin text and images. Finally, here is the styling sheet we use to create our page layout. As you can see, again, there's not much to it. One thing to emphasize, though, is that there are no fixed pixel sizes anywhere on this page. All sizes are in percentages. OK, before we start, we need to add this code in the head area. This is an instruction to set the browser's viewing window to the same width as the user's device. Usually that's all you need. But with really small screens, it's sometimes necessary to specify a larger width. In this example, what we're going to say is that at a screen width of less than 800 pixels, but more than 450 pixels, we want to make some changes to our layout. So we add this code to the bottom of our style section. The media query checks the current browser window width and if it falls within the attached values we'll carry out any style changes that are listed. Since everything's getting too cramped what we want to happen is for our text side div to take over the whole area below our banner graphic. So we set its width at 100% of the page wrapper container. But obviously now there is no space for our div graphic side to sit next to it. So the browser engine will push this down below text side. To improve the page balance, we can spread graphic side's width across the page by setting its width to 100% as well. But now we have another problem. Our images in graphic side are way too big. So instead of stacking them vertically, let's set them side by side instead. A slight complication here is that we want to include the text which goes with each image as well. So we'll add these bits of code to our div graphic side. What we've done here is add new divs around each image and text and added a new class called float left to them. So let's look at the style section again to see how it looks now. There, as you can see, is our new class float left which makes the percentage width of these new divs 45% of their container graphic side. Adds a bit of margin spacing and then adds a float left property. Now the images will be reduced by the browser to fit in their new divs and as you can see, will sit happily next to one another. Yet again, you'll notice no fixed sizes, just percentages. But as you know, in computing, you don't usually have to wait long for another problem to come along. As the browser width moves from 800 pixels to 450 pixels, that's about smartphone size, our new layout will shrink until the images start getting too small again. So we need to add one more media query at the foot of our style sheet. Now anywhere below 450 pixels, we shall allow the images in graphic side to sit on top of one another again. And we do this by changing the float left width to 100%. So now it's the same size as all the other divs. We now have a page which will move fluidly all the way from PC to mobile and changes its layout to suit pretty well any device. And that's it. 
The next video looks at how the frustrating problem of adding a YouTube video to a fluid web page can be made so easy you need never battle with it ever again. In the meantime, thanks for watching.